Mark's annual gift wrapping fundraiser is happening right now at the Kirkwood Mall. I'm joined this morning by one of the members of the Optimist Club, Amanda Yellow, to tell me all about it. Good morning, Amanda. Yes, good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, thanks so much for stopping by. You guys are busy this time of year. We're getting into crunch time. So yes, The gift wrapping is. booth is popping. It is. And, and you know, we're, we're here for all types of um, those shoppers, those mm -hmm. last-minute shoppers, those ones that are like, just here's my gifts, wrap them, you know, I need to get in, get out, whatever, We're for the ones that are like, take your time, I'm just gonna drop them off and I'm gonna go finish my shopping and do what I need to do around the mall. So we're kind of there for any comfort level that people are right now for the holidays. So. Yes, and you guys, you're a godsend to many people, like for especially for people buying lots of gifts. You've said that there's been people that just drop off cartloads yeah. and they'll go and keep shopping yeah. and just so that they can get everything done in time. So that's, that's amazing. I thought it was really interesting. You were telling me how organized things are back there that so when people if you get two carts full of toys dropped off you don't want to send Tommy's toy home with Johnny so right. there's a very good way that you guys have things organized back there yeah we yeah thank you for bringing that up we've got a pretty good system where we have little gift tags that we'll put if somebody brings in a large amount of things to be wrapped we we'll want to make sure that you go home with what you brought to us so <laughs> we'll kind of give you a little gift tag and that will accompany your gifts and so um, if you want all of Johnny's in a certain wrapping and all of Tommy's and all of Susie's and mm -hmm. whatever wrapping we can do that and then keep all yours together and we put the tags on them specifically so we know when you come back you've got to redeem your tag to get your your gifts to when get you your the gifts home. you brought just yeah. like when you go somewhere with kids you got to take the kids you brought That's right. <laughs> same thing with the gifts <laughs> so uh, which makes me wonder like you take all this time to organize to coordinate the, the gift wrapping the bows everything like that the cost is fairly nominal I, in is. my opinion it is yeah it's very reasonable it of course goes on the size of the package mm -hmm. that we are wrapping um, and then we have pay it forward days as well mm -hmm. so there's different local businesses that have agreed to sponsor a half day or a full day and then on those days people can come in uh, we've got signage up at the booth so people know before they get there that it's a it's a sponsored day and they get their gifts wrapped for free yeah so it's just donations that they would want to make to the Optimist Club that goes back to the youth in the community yeah and so let's talk about that so the Optimist Club I see that name all over so what are some things that you guys are involved in when people donate money or when they come and get their gifts wrapped where's that money going into our community yeah our mission is friend of youth so we try to do everything affecting youth in the mm -hmm. community so the Easter egg hunt that's typically at the Capitol grounds that's our event that's free to the public to attend where we do 10,000, 12,000 eggs or so every year, so that's one of our fun things. We do a backpack program with United Way mm -hmm. where we stuff some backpacks for, for kiddos there. Um, we have a grant program where we give away a $10,000 grant to a local nonprofit that um, contributes to youth in the community. And we do, oh man, those Avenue of Flags, which goes yes. along State Street, which mm -hmm. is one of our neat fundraisers and that's one of our ones that we're we're pretty proud of because it looks pretty awesome it when is. you're driving by and yeah. see all those flags. It definitely catches your eye and yeah. it, it, it brings the it brings lots of things to mind. So uh, and so you, you were kind of saying price depends on the size of the package yep. but you guys have you know you're keeping up with technology you can pay with cash but there are new ways that you can pay too. Yeah just this year we started a, a square option so if somebody wants to come in and they have a credit card um, they can pay with the pay by credit card, so mm -hmm. that's a nice new feature that we can. We're not always just cash anymore. Yep. Um, so cash, credit card, um, check, we can we can take it all. Mm -hmm. They we have a QR code. They can um, scan right there and get them on their way. Yeah, you take everything. The QR codes I think are so cool. I've been seeing all those at the red kettles too. How you can just yeah. walk by, scan the QR code, donate, and you're on your way. Yeah. So you're you are really saving people time and money here. <laughs> We're trying. We want to get those tree those trees under the or I gifts, say gifts under the tree and get people right. on their way so they can keep shopping and be ready and relax a little bit exactly. and not be stressed about wrapping. Exactly. So. You guys are doing so much good for the community both now and year round. So uh, where do we find the gift wrapping station? That's the one thing we haven't covered yet. Yeah, you bet. We are located across from the old Herberger's location, which is now the Tilt Studio. Mm -hmm. So Kirkwood Mall right across from um, the Tilt Studio. We are there um, all of mall hours until um, the mall closes on December 24th. So we're there till the very end if you need us. So. Yep. And you, are there still volunteer spots available? You don't have to be part of the Optimist Club to be a volunteer, right? Correct, yeah, so. great. Thank you for saying that. Um, anybody can help us. We have volunteer spots open, so we always try to have at least one Optimist Club member there to kind of keep the 
keep the gang in yep. check of knowing what to do. <laughs> and then we're open to any and all volunteers that want to come help us out. And it's really fun. It's, it's a very fun way to give back and kind of have camaraderie with friends. And you see all kinds of people in the mall and the hustle and the bustle yeah. of the season. So It's a very fun group. I can attest to that. Yeah, so thank thanks. you so much, Amanda, for showing up today yeah. and telling us all about it. Thanks for having me. All right. We'll have a check of your seven-day forecast. When